A day of celebration in Kansas City turning to tragedy just as the parade celebrating the Chiefs' Super Bowl victory was coming to an end. Gunshots ringing out in a crowd of nearly one million people outside Union Station in Kansas City. The terrifying events unfolding Wednesday afternoon. Roughly 800 members of law enforcement were present, all rushing to the scene as police snipers scanned the crowd from rooftops. We did everything to make this event as safe as possible. But so long as we have fools who will commit these types of acts, as long as we have their access to firearms with this level of capacity, then we may see incidents like this one. Paul Contreras and Trey Filter seen in this video taking down a man believed to be a suspect as he attempted to run from the scene. I mean, there was a lot of commotion. Um, I could definitely tell that, you know, someone was being chased. I couldn't see much. I heard that uh, get him. Uh, I saw a flash next to me. I remember I jumped and remember thinking, I hope this is the who they were talking about. One person killed. The victim who died identified as a Kansas City radio host, Lisa Lopez Galvin, a local DJ and mother of two. Today in Kansas City was a day to celebrate. We woke up this morning excited and the last thing we ever expected was to have a tragedy in our family. Among those wounded, multiple children, some as young as eight years old. The one word I would just use to describe what we saw and how they felt when they came to us was fear. And authorities are still investigating a motive here, but sources close to this investigation tell ABC News the evidence so far points to this being a street crime and not politically motivated or connected to terrorism. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Kansas City.